You're a nut. Here we go. Watch the crew sleeps there. The what kind they're of nut am I? They're sitting up real straight. I want to sit like this. <laughs> like, like this. This is like how Matthew McConaughey would do it. Okay, I'm gonna sit up real straight and look my skinniest. Do I still look lit if I sit back like this? Yeah, just less lit. Oh, it's one of these. Scene one, act one, take two. Hey, friend. Just uh, what are we doing, Will? We've been doing this for what? A year? This is the first of its kind. I know. No, this is day one. No, we started filming. I started filming you less than a year ago. Don't you think we need to talk into the camera? What? Don't you think we need to talk into the camera? Talk however you want. I think we need to talk into the camera. Well, is there going to be like background music? Like do we need to no. do the introduction first? No. So that I need to sit forward. Yeah, I think we need to talk into the camera. <laughs> How's this look? Good. Okay. Take three. Action. Action! Okay, how do we meet? Well, I had this crazy idea, and I think you had called and asked me to go to an award show with you. And we were sitting in the car, and I said that I was looking for someone to film for a documentary, and I had this dream, and... I said I could do that. Yeah. Had some equipment, put it to use. So we did. We started filming. And. Everywhere we went. But that's not really how we met. No. We met. Five, a five years ago. Competition for the cover of a magazine here in Victoria. Because we won. were we were chosen one of the top five. I didn't win. You won. Yeah, we were. Well, now this is a cool story. We were chosen, both of us. They picked five bachelor bachelorettes, and I got chosen as one of the bachelorettes. You got chosen as one of the bachelors. And then what we didn't know is we were competing for the cover of this magazine. I'm, I'm gonna get a copy. Hang on. Did you know that you were competing against me? No, I didn't. Huh? I had no idea. I thought I was going to be on the cover, so I was a little surprised. <laughs> this is I don't it. even think I'd ever heard of you this before This is the that. magazine. Oh, thanks. Well, I've never heard of you either. So let's see your picture in here. Oh. You going to zoom in on that? <laughs> Get close up. No, no, look at this. Oh my gosh. Like, this is the first cover of a magazine I ever did. And that was. Okay, so that, that was my cover, right? And this was actually your cover. Right? Isn't this the picture that you shot for the cover? <laughs> Big deal right here. <laughs> Deals. That for the cover or that for the cover? Of course they give it to the blonde. Yeah. Anyway, that's how we really met. And Will came into my life. So when I had this whole idea and I came out with my story about sexual abuse, I decided that I was going to build an empire. Okay. I'm so excited. I've got to share this news with you. 
forgive the appearance. I know I look gorgeous today. It's hard to maintain this constantly, but I've been working long hours. It's my day off. I was up late last night, and I've been running all day since early this morning. All right, this is really amazing. So I don't know how to type it out. Like, I'm just going to show it to you. Three weeks ago, when I was sitting in church, wait, let me back up. Six weeks ago, I began to pray about the name of this corporation. Like, what did I want this name to be? How is it going to articulate itself and empower people to understand this business that I'm going to build? So I began praying about it, and I began to just really ask for my higher power, for God, for the universe, for whatever in which way you want to believe. Every morning, I began to ask and believe and know that I was going to receive an answer. This all started six weeks ago. In the meantime, I go to church, not every Sunday, but whenever I can get there or whenever I wake up. So three weeks ago, I go to church, and Pastor Mike's preaching on this whole Renewed series. So I'm sitting there listening, and I start taking notes. Sometimes I pay attention to his message, and sometimes I'm off in my own little world. It's just my OCD. And I begin to write along the side of my Bible, Be Renewed. Can you see that? And I think to myself, okay, this corporation is going to be Be Renewed. That's it. Be Renewed Incorporated, right? So anyway, I skip church or I miss church the following Sunday. And I go back this Sunday. And as you all know, because of my last video post, God answers this prayer. I mean, I'm literally reading and it's Colossians. I'm going to read it to you right now because it's so powerful. Colossians 4.11 and Jesus, which is called just us, J-U-S-T-U-S, -U -S, who are of the circumcision, these only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort unto me. Now, I mean, through all, all this scripture in the Bible and all these little bitty words, that one scripture pops out to me. So what do I do? I write along the side of my Bible, just us love. And I think that's it. Like when you were born to help people survive and be an inspiration to people who have been through sexual abuse, then you need a corporation that puts all that together in one terminology. And I think when we're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, and we did not talk about our episode of sexual abuse or our sexual violation or our rape or our sexual assault or whatever we went through as men and women at a young age that we experienced. And this was first brought on our, our identity and began to portray out the actions of our lives that we need something to associate to. And what is it we all want? Justice. We all want justice, right? Only we're thinking justice like a gavel, hands down, like justice in a court of law. But what we really want is Jesus. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like I have ran around this house and I have shouted, thank you, Jesus, because that's who I believe and serve. That's my master. But your higher power, the universe, whatever you want to call, ask, believe, receive. The prayer was answered. I'm so excited to share with y'all justice, love. That's it. Justice, love for men and women all around the world. And I'm going to change the world with it. We're going to be new people. Wait and see. Needed somebody to help me film and document this whole thing. So we kind of just took a leap of faith, right? That's right. Um, I think you explained it to me. You said, this is the making of a dream and we need to document the steps, the leaps that we're taking, because when we get to the end point, we're going to look back and wish we would have memories of all the little things that it took to get to where we are. Yeah, because there was going. no name, which you just saw in how we got I mean, the name. How cool is it to have a way to look back and see the progress that you made you didn't really necessarily have a plan, didn't necessarily know what was going to happen, and you filmed it. Mm -hmm. And you filmed it. And it, it's kind of like evidence of what dedication and hard work and persistence and patience can all add up to. So let's talk about what we first filmed. Like the very first time you brought the camera over, 
um, I had a, a client of mine had finally, I started to share this dream with other people outside of you. And a client of mine who makes logos, like, she brands. Yeah, she's a graphic designer. Thank you. Um, she brands businesses. So she said, you know, she really prayed about it and she believed that um, she was sent into my life to help me. And so I began to write down and take notes because by this time I had the name Justice Love. And so uh, Justice meaning Jesus, I had a cross wrote down and love meaning a heart. I wrote that down and I was trying to put these two together because I thought justice meant a lot of things, you know, justice as in like a gavel and a court of law, justice in the Bible where the name came from, meaning where Jesus. Where were you when you came up with the name? I was, I was in church. I was I in church I reading my, yeah. reading my Bible. And so, uh, but it also could be what she did is she took it and she really made it personal. Like she made it just us, just this group of people that I think from the start, people could believe and see what I wanted to do, but it needed, um, I don't know, it, it needed a brand. So I go over, I see her at her house. We sit down at the kitchen table. Julie Zavala is her name, and she literally, within 48 hours and moving from town, she was in the middle of a huge move in her life, uh, her and her husband, she literally calls me back over there and she has this logo and so I don't want to see it because I, I tell her you know we're filming all of this this is important like I need to um, call Will so he can come and film this and she didn't want to be on camera so what did we do I had her email it and you show up we revealed it to the world yeah we taped it yeah. that night we sat down so what you're gonna see next is me seeing uh, the logo for the first time which Jaden didn't want to be on camera and roll into the logo yeah all right can we watch that back Josh yeah why it would make it so much more real I'm kind of nervous. Okay. <sighs> okay. After you open it and you look at it, I am going to want to come over there and film whatever you're looking at. So, once you start talking about it, keep it on the screen so I can come over there and get a shot of it. Wow. What are we looking at? Is it good? Wow. It's honestly, I think it's perfect. I mean, that's not even my vision I had at all, but I think it's perfect. It's really perfect. It's really perfect. Come look. Oh. 
Alex fell again. <laughs> I do not want to do this. That, that really does look good, though. It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. But I really do not want to do this. What do you think? I mean, what do you think? What are the gray letters? Speak it out, pray it out, write it out. I don't know whether to cry or scream. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>